Okay, that's a part two. Um, so I'm gonna grab some new uh three. Okay. Um, let's go, guys. Um, I've got the uh number two, and the number three. I've got three number three. Uh huh. -huh. Um, so okay. Um, I'm gonna prefix also this one. Uh, okay. Yep, your key mod is gonna be an inherit one. Um, as you can see, it's also a really high detail model. And um, let's go for the last but not least, number three. Prefix also. Okay, where are you at? Oh, 21, okay. And um, your key mod is gonna be inherit. So something really important right now. It's um, I'm gonna um, add dynamic attributes on every uh, three that I got. Um, if you go um, into the Garia render documentation, okay, you got instances. Is there something like explaining all the stuff? I will show you. I'm gonna show you right now. There's something really important that's saying deal with multiple instances meshes. Um, this one's something you need to look at. I'm gonna copy and paste object name, it's right there, and add on every, okay, well, and add on uh, all my group uh, three, uh, group three, um, a string. So object name, string. So right now I've got an input that I can fill. I'm gonna fill it with something really simple. I'm gonna say tree number one, tree number two, I'm gonna say for tree number three. Okay, let's have a look. Tree number two, okay, let's correct that. Let's go into instances and I'm gonna go into instances and select not only this one, the two other one. So Gary, yeah, as you're gonna see, is gonna compute a lot. I'm gonna pause a little bit. Okay, it has eight. Um, nice. Um, so right now I've got um, three type of uh, tree and um, I'm gonna duplicate um, this render graph three time. Um, I'm gonna get the three number two. I'm gonna shorten that and say, okay, only stuff we're starting with this prefix. And for the last one, it's gonna be the same stuff. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna see that we're gonna uh, get really different. Um, okay, I don't want any, I can destroy all that stuff. And um, I wanna show you uh, that it worked and I've got different uh, three. Uh, so I'm gonna go for something super uh, psych. Okay. Thank you, someone subscribed on my YouTube. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And, um, okay, let's go for something. Okay, greenish. Yeah, green like that. Let's render, guys. Okay, um, so as you can see, I've got the, um, this kind of uh, tree right there in the blue one. So it's gonna be something like, um, so it's gonna be a different kind of uh, green. So that's my tree type of tree. Um, and it worked. I've got different type where I randomly uh, implant, um, distrib distribute into this forest. Um, 
Okay, um, so I'm gonna shade a little bit. Um, I'm gonna stop the uh, this mess with the blue uh, stupid uh, surface right there. And I'm gonna uh, add a surface right here. And um, I'm also for the caps and also for this one. Um, and what I want to show you is how to randomize uh, a certain kind of uh, color in any type like in diffuse for this one. Um, so I'm going to randomize the blue type, uh, the big one, number two um, in my uh, description. And um, I'm going to um, select the instances and go to, um, sorry, uh, attributes and I'm going to click on generate ID. What I said is I'm going to have a different ID for every uh, tree. So I'm going to pick this ID and I'm going to use that for randomize and giving a different color to any tree. Um, for using that, um, I'm going to drag and drop the uh, color of my diffuse of this tree, uh, the tree number two. And um, I'm going to uh, pick a node with a, a node picker, uh, control space, and I'm going to search for something that's called prim uh, attribute. And um, in this, uh, I'm going to uh, directly enter um, ID exactly like this. And I'm going to search for a random, oops, sorry mate. Uh, randomize color like this one. Okay, so I'm connecting to the seed uh, this of this randomized color, uh, my primitive attribute with call ID. So so it's going to be a random um, attribute who's going to feed this seed and it's going to distribute different colors. So I'm going to pick what? Uh, well, it's not that great. Um, yeah, let's go for something like this. Okay. And um, I don't want to go to uh, kinky um, into the uh, random, so I'm going to go for, for something really tiny into the random uh, U, but I can go for something more interesting to the saturation random and value random. And let's have a look. I was not really fond of my settings, so um, when it was paused in my run to start, uh, I can notice that it was fucked up. So I changed them for something more um, closer uh, from the uh, color I want. Um, so as you can see, um, the uh, this uh, uh, super tight tree, uh, tight tree um, is drive um, by this random color, and I randomize uh, the use the saturation of color uh, from this. Uh, uh, green I picked. Okay. Um, for finishing, I can um, you know um, pick the uh, branches of the uh, second one and getting for something more and going for something more uh, dark and uh, yep yep okay more well it's better okay and um, well I would say it's gonna be the same. Okay. Up. Up. Yep. Well, this one is simple. It's a full. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay. And. Um, okay. Brownish one. Let's connect it. Bye bye, Union. Okay. Let's render it. Nice.
Okay, let's go for the final render. Um, I'm gonna upgrade the uh, density of my three. Um, I'm gonna go for something like, um, I will say up eight. Hungaria is computing. Okay, so it was two minutes of uh, two minutes forty four of uh, creating the implementation. Um, there is some um, some s optimization I can do. Um, I can uh, lower into my advances mod as uh, the uh, open gel ratio. I can also uh, something I would like to is uh, turn all my instances into wireframe. So I've got only something really usable and um, just just the uh, OpenGL uh, view that is changed. And I'm gonna render it. Um, I'm gonna create uh, my camera and uh, okay, this is gonna be my render cam. Render camera. Up. Uh, let's go. Let's go for something super uh, movie style. Um, one. Uh, yep. By an under it all. Oh, it's fucked up. Um, yep. From what I guess, it's gonna be close. Yeah, I was super close. <laughs> I was super, super close. Okay. Uh, that's it. Yep. Let's go for a super movie style. I'm gonna fit on this little guy and I'm gonna grab this view. It's gonna turn, I'm gonna turn it to the uh, main camera. Okay. Let's render. Okay. Um, Nice implantation. I've got a lot of three. Um, that's great. We're gonna render it into the um, nice quality. This is nice. Okay, so I change um, a little bit the uh, the uh, framing of my camera. I was not really fond of. Uh, I just rerun the render, and that's it. That's um, typically what you can get with uh, a couple of different uh, tree and uh, how you can um, um, handle a massive lot of uh, polygons. I've got something like I don't know. It's gonna be it's. It's maybe, I don't know, I've got a couple of million polygons per tree. So as you can see, I've got something like, I will say of just less from 2,000 uh, tree right now. In my last um, instances, I've got uh, 2400, uh, 74, uh, three. That's a lot. That's really a lot. Thank you guys for uh, watching this video.